Now, Vice President Harris and I, along with our nominees to lead the national security institutions, have just been briefed by some of the professionals who have been conducting agency reviews as a part of our transition. This is a long-standing part of the orderly transition of power in American democracy. We welcomed teams from the incoming Trump-Pence administration four years ago, gave them access to all that we had. And over the past few weeks, teams of genuine policy and management experts, many of them previous government experience who have gone into agencies across the government to conduct interviews with personnel, to uh, gather information, and to assess the state of the federal government <coughs> excuse me, that we will shortly inherit. These teams worked under incredibly difficult circumstances, taking COVID-19 precautions and waiting weeks for the ascertainment, meaning that so they could go in and be clear, clear to go in. But uh, they have done an outstanding job. For some agencies, our teams received exemplary cooperation from the career staff in those agencies. From others, most notably the Department of Defense, uh, we encountered obstruction from the political leadership of that department. And the truth is, many of the agencies that are critical to our security have incurred enormous damage. Many of them have been hollowed out in personnel, capacity, and in morale. In the policy processes that have atrophied or have been sidelined, in the despair of our alliances and the disrepair of those alliances, in our absence from key institutions that matter to the welfare of the American people, in the general disengagement from the world, and all of it makes it harder for our government to protect the American people, to, uh, to defend our vital interests, in a world where threats are constantly evolving and our adversaries are constantly adapting.